Hi guys, welcome back to Eliza's World. My name's Leanne and have I got a haul for you today. Let's go. I've been out and about shopping today and can't wait to show you the amazing, exciting things that I've bought here at Eliza's World. Um, I've been to Poundland. I've also been to, I think it's a place called Bargain Buys, but if um, Leanne Editor isn't lazy and does manage to put the name of the actual shop down there, it would be helpful. Yeah, future Leanne hates past Leanne. Yes, it's called Bargain Buys. This store is kind of like a pound stretcher. It used to be a pound stretcher many years ago, and I think now it's called Bargain Buys. I think so, anyway. So I bought a few things from there which were, I thought, very interesting as well. So let me show you what we have today. Okay, I'm gonna show you Poundland, basically, because I've got so much more from Poundland. And I think the first two big pieces are LOL. The first item is an LOL, you decide, make your own story inside. I bought one of these for my niece and one for Eliza. It's got some lovely paper in that you could use for scrapbooking. Um, and then you've also got um, some stories, some things to cut out, costumes to cut out. So my niece seems to like it, um, and I think Eliza will too. She hasn't properly had a look at this one yet. So this was only one pound. It's RRP was six ninety nine. So quite impressed with that one. So this item is also from Poundland. It's another LOL surprise. It's the fashion puzzle and fun, fashion and fun. It's a sentence. Fashion and puzzle fun. Okay, this looked quite interesting. Again, you've got all the different types of background paper, but then this time as well, there's um, puzzles and hidden insights, um, word searches, things like that. And then what I loved, if anybody else is a 70s baby like me and remembers these in the Bunty magazine or the Tracy magazine, if you're a certain 70s type age baby. Um, so I used to love doing these. I have a Thanks, Dave. Puppy, good boy. So this was just one pound, very thick book, quite pleased with the price on that one. And let's move on. The next item that I bought from Poundland was, I mean really, it's a glitter pink rabbit with a feather boa. What is not to love? What is, Dave, really? Dave is, after all of these, Dave is now joining me. Um, so, yes, Dave, this is a glitter bunny. Dave, do you approve of the glitter bunny? I think he, I think he approves. Yeah, what is not to love about this? It's pink, it's glittery, and it has a feather boa. Um, there were two different types. There was a white rabbit, Perhaps a little bit more realistic, but it didn't have a feather boa. And let's face it, what is the point? Because now, I don't need these rabbits anymore. We have this one, don't we, Dave? This is all the rabbit we need. So, very pleased with that one. Can't wait to see Eliza's face when she sees that. I also had to... I was forced... No, I wasn't forced to. Really, but... Oh, my sunflowers are so yeah, I didn't buy any more of the other ones because I've done a project which I'll show you in another video um, for Easter using those, but I did buy another one of these just purely for symmetry. Um, Eliza did this beautiful um, painting based on Van Gogh's sunflowers at school and it's so beautiful that I actually framed it 
and it looks so sweet with these next to it that I wanted to kind of even it up so that is for that one and that was one pound and then oh so cute they have these beautiful toadstools they had them in all colors and I'll be honest this was the last red Dave really likes it this is Enchanted Corner um, so this is the Fairy Garden range which has really expanded this year um, so this is a toadstool um, just a red toadstool one pound very nice as a little ornament in a planter or if you're making a fairy garden lots of little things that you could do with this which is quite cute including putting it with your Easter display so so easy to put things away in this house you just shove them up there and everybody goes wow you made a display and I'm like yeah <laughs> Dave what are you up to what are you up to and now Dave -less for the next section um, so hanging plants really kind of fits the boho theme at the moment that people have got going on in that sh them their shops so these are very very cute they would look lovely hanging off the window and what you could actually do even if you're not good at crochet and even if, if you're not good at crochet it's probably even better because you could do kind of a loose crochet cover at the bottom to extend this um, you could change the rope up you could do all sorts of things including paint these um, because Poundland kindly haven't put a glaze on these so these can be painted as well um, so I'm quite pleased with these I'm quite pleased to kind of do something a bit um, different on my kitchen window still so looking forward to getting those painted up and looking nice and then the last item that I got from Poundland I'm actually making a gift um, over the next few weeks and as you know I like to try and make gifts on a budget but make them look really nice and Poundland were actually selling these Valentine's um, I think they're called, they're called a display box they're not actually a picture frame there's no glass inside them but they were selling these off for 25 pence so I've um, got a couple of ideas that I could do with this and it definitely won't look like that when we finish but 25p i'm quite happy because how it will look will look amazing okay so like i say we went to bargain buy today i think that's what it was called editor the am in the future we'll put this down here for me um now a few years ago i i love shark tank which is the american version of dragon's Den, um and in shark tank somebody actually was um pitching one of these and the one of the dragons took it up um, and they made a lot of money off the sale of these i don't know if it's the same brand but it's a very very similar product if not perhaps editor leanne will be kind enough to put that down the bottom future leanne hates past leanne and editor leanne hates all leanne's editor leanne is salty okay so scrub buddy is actually Scrub Daddy um, and it sold more than 25 million units. It's a smiley face scrub brush, which is great for actually putting your spoons and things through the smile. So, uh, yes, that was on Shark's Tank and the company is worth upwards of $170 million or doulas. And P.S. Don't Google scrub daddy uk and after all that i don't actually think that this was a legitimate scrub daddy i think it was probably a cheap knockoff you can buy the real scrub daddies on places like google they're 2.99 i paid 99p mine was great got to say that anyhow um so this bargain buy shop which is a bit like pound stretcher um it says one pound 79 on here but they were actually 99 pence they had them in a raspberry shape a lemon shape the orange shape and then another shape that is failing to enter my brain at the moment but 99p for these i thought was quite good and this is what they look like inside and as you can see I'm really pushing down 
but apparently when you put these in hot water they become soft straight away but they're really good for rubbing the bottom of your pans uh, for getting stuff that's really kind of ground on on there and I like um, with my baking and stuff like that a lot of melted chocolate and that can be quite difficult to get off things sometimes especially if you put it in the dishwasher so um, this looks like it's a very I mean, you could. I, I have no finger strength anyway. I've got arthritis, but the, well, when I when I'm doing this, probably a, a three day old could grip better than I can. But that is taking some grip, and you can see it's hardly touching the side. So I'm very excited to use one of these. Let me know in the comments if you've ever used one. Um, what you thought they were great for cleaning for and how much you paid because I'm interested to see if I actually got a good deal or not on that that was 99 pence the last item which probably isn't going to be the most interesting of all items but the last item that I found in bargain buys was this Sherwood's um, Hanan Smoky Chili sauce. I say it's a Hanan Smoky Chili. It's a full bodied sauce with a distinct smoky flavour with chili and garlic. Now, I love um, chipotle chilies, how smoky they are. I love smoky paprika. I love smoky chorizo. Um, any kind of smoky deep flavours. Oh, yes. Um, and then the contrast of lime and coriander with that, oh my goodness. Um, so this sounds absolutely delicious. The use by date on it is May um, 20, so I've got a few months to use that and this was only 69 pence. So I'm very pleased with that item. And with that, that's everything I've bought today. So I really hope you enjoy this video. Let me know in the comments what you would like to buy yourself or have you seen anything that you think that i might like to buy let me know don't forget to like and subscribe and all those wonderful things and take care until our next video bye